baseball from the Lone Star State. Today, the finale of this three-game weekend set. It's the Minnesota Twins and the Texas Rangers. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. And yeah, we got a rubber match on our hands today, and partner. Now, yeah, the final game of a three-game set. They've split the first two. And regardless of how important a series is within the larger picture of the season, it's a game you want to get up for. Every series win feels good, so we should see a fun matchup in this one. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. We go to the bottom of the first, and stepping in is the speedy Bubba Thompson. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. There's a strike. So how much does his speed factor into his ability go, to go fellas. get it? Go. It's heartbreaking for the hitter because off the bat, he thinks this ball is going to get down. Because of that speed and the ability to make up so much ground, he enters the picture and breaks a guy's heart. Right-hander kicks deals. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And that's the first out. Very frustrating right there that as exactly. a speedy That's potential base runner Man when the two strikes, you just struggle Holy. to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Now here is Cameron Cauley. Fought off foul. Riding to the plate. And a foul ball. Kicks and fires. And that one handled. Tosses to first. And here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. Batting third. The designated hitter. And now we take a look at the Rangers lineup. Whoa. Someone who makes things happen for them, in part with his legs, Eli White. Well, Boog, there aren't many guys who have a flair for the big moment like he does. I mean, batting over 400 with runners in scoring position. Are you kidding me? I know it's not guaranteed or an automatic, but I hope we get to see him in a close late game situation with oh, runners one. in scoring position and just see, is he truly a machine or not? Now the one out towards left center. You, you, you makes the grab, and that'll do it. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They trail things here, two nothing. Bottom of the inning. Now it's the right fielder, Casey Golden. He's hitting for Four that pop. Rangers. Came out of the gates the really right strong. Casey. The wind of the pitch. Yeah. Going one. All ones the count. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Time to look at our umpiring crew in this one. Kenny Jansen behind the plate. Yeah, and expect a little inconsistency on the corners. He doesn't make any wild calls, but he does give and take there a little bit. So he doesn't have the easiest strike zone to figure out, especially as the game goes on, when you're expecting it to become more consistent. Chris, do players ever change their approach in meaningful ways based on who's umpiring, or is it good to just be aware of tendencies so you're not that surprised? I'd say the latter because pitchers got to pitch to his strengths regardless. The hitters got to hit to his strength. So you're aware of it, but the you have to spin. just hunt for Hell what you there. can handle. Harris. So next to hit for Texas, Justin Harris. Good power, not great in the OBP department. And that's in there for strike one. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. 
Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it in that part and get on the inside part of the plate as well. And a pitch. Stays alive. Hey, we got one here. We got one. In the air to left center. Buxton racing over to make the catch. Batting six. The second baseman, Marcus. Two Simeon. outs, base is empty. Here is Marcus Simeon. Hey, all right, here we go now. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. And he's down 0-2 as two he strikes. swings through it. Two down here. The 0-2. Three. Got him looking. And that is that. And the Rangers set down in order. And they're down 2-0. And welcome back. Here's the speedy catcher, Harry Ford. Leading off. He's someone that you might not describe as having catcher. elite level speed, Harry. but he can absolutely oh. move, and it is a factor in his game. Hey. And he pumps it a strike. Boy, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base yeah. paths. Arise on to first. One up, one down. Batting eight. The third baseman, Josh Young. Here's Josh Young. Here we go, guys. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's oh, nothing at one. Count. Next offering is in for a strike. One out now. And here it comes. Got him. Down on strikes, and he knew it. Maybe a little bit of overthinking at the plate right there. You want to be patient with enough. knuckleballers and not give into that pitch that's going to Meanwhile. dart out of the zone at the very last nice. moment. But that was about as hittable as knuckleballs can get, and he was frozen. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Eli White. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Nothing doing for the Rangers. They're still down. It's two zip. Welcome back. Here's Bubba Thompson. Leading off for the Rangers. Mac back the to work. Fielder. Bubba. That's in for a strike. Oh, and one. Hey, come on now. Here we go. The why to kick the pitch. Scoops it up barehanded. The wind and the pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. 
And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Boog, for me, that knuckleball was just devastating. I mean, you see it so Not well, you think you're going to go out there Cameron. and get four knocks, and you just Holy. swing and miss. And I tell you what, I tried my best to put Tim Wakefield in the Hall of Fame. So we'll see. If he gets there, you know it's because of me. Cameron Cauley stepping in for the Rangers. Hey, get ahead right here. Hey. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. Throw on to Olsen. Already two gone here in the home fourth. Well, he's doing a nice now job of keeping the ball no, out of the good. air. Let's the defense nope, work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Whoa. Nathaniel yeah, Lowe up to hit. In there, and it's 0-1. And he'll won. Popped up on the left side of the infield. I got it, I got it. And that is that. Rangers go down quickly there. They trail it here, three nothing. Back here at the ballpark, we head to the bottom of the fifth, and now the right fielder, Casey Gold for the Rangers. The wine in the pitch. The right fielder, Casey. Foul ball there. Golden. Here we go now, let's go. The pitch. This ball's chopped in the ground. Throw on to Olsen, oh. and the leadoff hitter retired in the fifth. The first baseman, number nine, Justin Perrin. Now it's going to be Dustin Harris. Slide out his first time. Whoa, Next pitch downstairs. Down. And, and it's down, one and one down. The Rangers hitless so far in the game. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Swing and a miss. It now one and two. One and two. Plays at one now. The pitch. Taps softly to the right side. And that he grabs it. Foul. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Picks up strikeout number seven. <laughs> well. Obviously, the knuckleball, it's not a pitch designed to now blow that. by hitters, but you'll see baseman. this every once in a while. You give up on that pitch at the plate, Seven, and then yeah. the last moment, it darts back into the strike zone, and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time. Looks like it's 100 miles per hour, and I tell you what, I know from personal experience, it's not a good feeling. Now it's Marcus Simeon, hey. and that's in there for strike one. All one's the count. Two down, nobody on. And that one fouled off. Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Hey, get him yourself right here. Let's go. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Simeon down on strikes. One, two, three, go the Rangers. They trail in this one, three, nothing. Bottom of the sixth inning. Now the catcher for the Rangers, Harry Ford. For the Rangers. Here comes a pitch. The catcher, Harry. Swing and a miss. Oh. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. Hey, give yourself right here.
kicks and deals. Swing and a miss, and he got him. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs basement. of fatigue. Next up for Texas, Josh Young. Yeah. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. The Rangers yet to pick up a hit here. One down, one down. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 oh, now. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Come on, fellas, let's go. And a pitch. The other way. In there, base hit. And the bid for history is gone. Really nice job of two strike hitting and that at bat. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. White, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Only right two here. now. And down on strikes. And now two gone. Now at 10 Ks with still a few innings left. So expect him to add on to now that total. Batting. And you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning. I mean, that's excellent work. Uh, the way it looks now, I mean, he's going to have a better rate than that in this one. So really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Stepping in, Bubba Thompson. That one's in there 0-1. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come, but you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. And at bat like this is almost hey, over it. as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. One left for Texas. Still down 3 nothing. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Now at the plate, Cameron Cawley. Leading off for and the pitch. Rangers. The shortstop. Cameron. There's the strike. Cawley. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 2. Real ugly 0 1 swing right there. As a pitcher, got to be hunting for that strikeout. Keep him off balance. Send him back to the dugout. And a swing and a miss. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Oh, you may think, man, that pitch was right on a tee yeah, for him, but I don't care where a knuckleball hitter. ends up. Those things no, dance all no. over the place. And even Whoa. when they pass right through the hitting zone, squaring it up or even getting a good piece of it can be a tough task. Here's Nathaniel Lowe. Hey, one away, one away. Up the middle, Harris collects. Now the throw to first on the run. Just got him on that one. Now batting, right fielder, Casey Golden. Two outs, space is empty. Casey Golden stepping in for the Rangers. Hey, two outs. Well, hey. on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it right, seems like, now. within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. The pitch. Ground ball up the middle. Arise, gloves it, fires over to first. Inning over. And the Rangers set down in order. They trail it here 3 0. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Dustin Lead Harris. For the Rangers. The, the right-hander back to work. Justin. 
on the ground. Sneaks through, base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. No Just two Number hits two. allowed so far. No man. runs across either. Okay. And he's had an answer for just about yeah. every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. And now Marcus Simeon. First pitch, and he just misses. Harris gets his hey, lead nobody. at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss. One ball, one strike. strike one. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. Sneaks through. Base hit. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Ford now in the box comes up empty with a swing there. Hey, come on, you gotta hold him right here. At the belt and fires, and fouled off. No outs. And he deals. And down on strikes he goes. One gone to the bottom of the eighth. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically likes to shoot the ball the other now way, batting. but that Third time. Baseman. A little anxious. Young. Young. Josh Young stepping in for the Rangers. One out, one out. In there and it's 0-1. 0-1. Oh and oh and the 0-1. Got him swinging. That's out number two. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly no trusted his stuff in this one, Boog. Meanwhile. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Hey, now, now the left fielder, two. Eli White. In there for strike one. These fans, they are Come on, guys. ready to cheer about something. Oh, and one now. And a foul ball. Two on, two outs. And a swing and a miss. Third out. Rangers leave a pair. They trail it here for nothing. Last chance for the home team. And now it's the Rangers leadoff hitter. Bubba Thompson. For the Rangers. Mac back to the work. Center fielder. There's a strike. Oh, low base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because right now, that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seems to help. Never helped me. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. He's had a tough day at the plate. Three strikeouts already. It's hard not to think negative. But you got to find a way to somehow center up the baseball and put it in play. Next offering one is ball. down low. Now one and two. Swings and misses, and there's one down. <laughs> well, obviously the knuckleball, it's not a pitch designed to oh, blow by ball. hitters, but you'll see this Another every once stop. in a while. You give Cam up Red. on that pitch at the plate, and then Holy. the last moment it darts back into the strike zone, and you're just not ready to get a swing off in time. Looks like it's 100 miles per hour, and I tell you what, I know from personal yeah, experience it's, it's not a good feeling. At the plate, Cameron Cawley. Now a drag bunt, third base side. And foul ball. To the right side. The throw to first. And they're down to their last out. Up next for the Rangers. The designated hitter. Nathaniel. Two outs, bases empty. And now Nathaniel Lowe. Good contact guy, good defender. Nope. First pitch just misses. Count one and oh. The one oh. 
A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. So now one and two. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. A 4 nothing shutout in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi.